Hello everyone, followers of my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's tutorial on JS application for soil erosion modeling using the revised universal soil loss equation. Actually, this is the third part of uh, this tutorial. And last time we have seen the uh, first part or the first parameter is to uh, determine soil erosion using the revised universal soil loss equation, which is a uh, rainfall erosivity. And now for this to today's tutorial, we will see uh, the second parameter, which is uh, soil erodibility. Okay, last time we have seen the rainfall erosivity, and uh, uh, this is the second parameter. And this uh, soil erodibility factor, or K, is defined as the mean annual rainfall uh, soil loss per unit of uh, R or the rainfall erosivity for standard conditions of the bare soil. Okay, and recently uh, tilled up and down with the slopes with no conservation practice and on a slope of 5 degree and two, uh, 2 meter length. Uh, this Morgan developed this uh, uh, soil erodibility factor, which is K only 5% slope okay with uh, 20 meter length is conservation practice uh, and there is no conservation practice as well, uh, uh, in this case okay therefore the values of k ranges from 0 to 1 the values of this soil erodibility factor is from 0 to 1 okay so uh, as Hilden uh, developed it in 1987, okay, for the condition by adapting different sources and proposed the K values based on the soil color. Okay, this Hilden uh, adopted the uh, values of soils by considering the, their colors. For instance, here there is a soil color for black, K factor is. 0.15 in the four brown 0.2 for red 0.5 and for yellow 0.3 so those are the dotted uh, k values of different soil classes okay so um, if you have soil type you should have to classify the soil color before you have provided the k factor for the soil so uh, for this uh, uh, tutorial, the soil type of the study are classified based on the FAO classification. Actually, the soil type is classified based on FAO. Uh, and uh, the soil readability K of each soil type has been determined from different articles or reviewed uh, through review. Uh, okay. So for this tutorial, uh, the values of the, the different types of soil the value for the soil erodibility of different soil is obtained by reviewing different articles okay and uh, uh, finally we have a build database of erodibility which are the similar pri primary key with the soil uh, attribute data in Microsoft Access or Excel you can now uh, join and relate the, uh, this uh, database or the Excel is that of the uh, shape file and we can proceed with the uh, uh, determination of this soil erodibility okay and after uh, that join the soil attribute data with the uh, erodibility data okay finally we have converted uh, this feature or polygon class to raster in ArcGIS software and the resulting shape file changes to grid file okay then we have to change the shape file to grid or raster and that shows us the erodibility of uh, the watershed or the intended area therefore in this way we can proceed with the uh, termination of uh, this soil erodibility k factor so it is the theoretical part and for this tutorial for this uh, tutorial we have uh, uh, the first data is this is the database or the soil database okay prepared under excel 
in an end in order to uh, uh, prepare this database you should have to open your arc map okay uh, for instance for this uh, project we have this uh, andasa uh, watershed and here is uh, there is andasa soil okay there is a soil map so soil class here should have to add this one and uh, if you uh, uh, open the attribute table for this we have different types of soil classifications soil classes FID and other parameters are there but in this attribute table the value of K is not incorporated okay therefore you should have to relate you should have to relate uh, this shape file this attribute data with this Excel data all right this Excel data with uh, uh, this one with uh, attribute data therefore you should have to give us FID zero is so with a soil class okay <coughs> sorry therefore the first one is chromic luisol actually the second one is a uh, triclyptosol in the like so you should have to list all the seven uh, soil types with their FID correctly after that you should have to provide the values of this soil rodability K and we will proceed uh, to join this Excel data with uh, attribute data okay so uh, in order to know those uh, k uh, values for different soils should have to know the color should have to search the color of a soil after that is done the uh, held and classification you, you can provide the value for those soil types so for this tutorial for instance i have uh, reviewed different articles for instance and uh, for instance from this paper from this article uh, for instance applicably alisol are available a liposol and the, their k values are uh, there so i have obtained and uh, extracted those uh, suggested values from this article in addition i have also used different uh, additional different uh, uh, papers for this tutorial purpose so should have to review different uh, uh, different for instance for this case happily calisol happily calisol is happily uh, alisol 0.3 see happily calisol yeah uh, is 0 0.3 from this okay so uh, uh, for instance happily calisol okay so we can have i have made something here applicably sorry 0 0.25 sorry for that okay the reason is i should have to uh, provide it as the digit you should have to increase the digit here okay i can uh, i can get the values of different uh, this soil rodability parameter anyways i have obtained those values so review of different articles okay that is it and having those status having those status you should have uh, this soil map okay so first you should have to uh, go to this property and i would like to visualize uh, under soil classification so i could like to add all the values here so i apply then okay so those are the soil types let me uncheck the remaining uh, uh, tasks what we have done previously therefore uh, after you have prepared or uh, mask your or clip your uh, this soil map for using the watershed boundary and the other thing here is you should have to add the excel data all right let me add for instance add here uh, the other data is from this pack I have uh, the copy of erodibility because uh, this erodibility has uh, some uh, mistakes that is why I have saved as copy of erodibility and say add okay this one say add 
so in order to uh, visualize the data uh, so simply we can use this one the erodibility and proceed with this go to this under soil class our task is to join this value for instance if you open this data if i open this i have a fid soil class k and the id what i have provided before and i would like to join those data with uh, that of the shape file uh, attribute data with this one so go to this and right click under this then say go to, uh, join and relate and say join us okay and join the field raster here is based on fid i would like to join based on their fid and uh, with the uh, erodibility okay so uh, if i say validate here all are right okay so there is no error and say okay right so if i have opened this attribute table for instance let me open it this attribute is now has the k value okay a k value that means uh, i have joined the excel data with the shape file data now you can remove this one because we have done our task after that after that uh, our remaining uh, task here we should have to uh, convert this uh, soil to that of raster because it is polygon yeah so in order to convert you should have to go to this arc toolbox okay or simply you can get under this one to go to this conversion tool and go to uh, under this two raster okay i would like to convert this polygon to raster okay our data is a polygon and uh, sometimes you may use this feature to raster all right but for my case since it is a polygon I would like to say polygon to raster and our input feature here is under soil class and um, the value field you should have to take care under this value field the value field is which is erodibility k okay based on k value and i can say that um, here uh, you can say erodibility okay erodibility uh, we can say k factor okay we can say k factor simply you can say k factor say save okay the other things are optional and you can uh, use as it is so say okay now it is uh, converting our values now we have this uh, k value so our k value is from 0 0.15 up to 0 0.5 actually the value of k is from 0 to 1 yeah so we we can have we can have this data if i check this one you have this map in order to visualize it let me use other uh, uh, for instance this color so you see for instance around this uh, the red colors are uh, value 0 0.15 while this the green color has 0 0.5 k factor or that is uh soil erodibility uh, parameter so it is uh, uh, about second parameter which is soil erodibility uh, factor okay i hope it is very simple and direct forward if you have any difficulty when when we are proceeding to determine this k factor uh, you can put under the comment section i will provide uh, my suggestion and uh, this is all about today have a nice time bye